CSS has rules that determine which selector is selected or which selector is applied to an element. You might have scenarios where you have two selectors that select the same HTML element. In our example here, we don't have that issue because we have H1 and P. H1 focuses on the H1 tag and P focuses on the P tag. Now, you might have a scenario where you have two instances of the same selector. At the moment, our H1 element is going to be Coral. I'll call it orange for the meantime. While the text is a shade of purple. Now we're going to have two H1 selectors and let's see which one CSS will choose. There are two rules in CSS, which is cascade and specificity. But we're going to start with cascade. Cascade says that when you have two selectors selecting the same element, the one that comes after is chosen and overrides the earlier one. So because I have two H1s, the one that comes after the first one is chosen. Therefore, H1 will be aqua. If I had three H1 selectors, the third one will be the one chosen according to the cascade rule. So let's go back to our website and see what is chosen. And you can see that our H1 is aqua. This is the rule for cascade. Now we have what we call specificity. Now the rule says that the selector that is more specific will be chosen. Now a class is rated as being more specific than a general selector. So let's say I have a class here. I am just going to name it my class. And in our HTML document, let's say I have a selector that has a class. So you have the normal selector in the CSS and then you have the class. So if I put a selector on, let's say a paragraph or H1, is it going to choose the original color of the selector? or the color of the class. Let's go and demonstrate this by a live example. So we go back to our HTML. At the moment, we haven't done anything. And in our H1, we have a class. You can see that the selector chose Fuscia because the class is more specific than the general selector. And this is what we call specificity.